I suppose que you receive the review package. Yes or no? Ask, answer, answer me. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Rosalinda say yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. We're working on this now. Okay. Uh, when it, when the, this lecture today, now, is over, Andreina, I will send to you the test number four. Because you can start working. So the question that you consider that you understand, you're working, no? Uh -huh. Now, and this test number four is due, is due December 10th. Guy, December 10th is the last day. Uh, December 10th, December 10th. It is, by the way, December 10th, today is three, no? It's next Thursday. Uh -huh. It's the last day because December 11th, I need to grade everything, every subject I teach. In. Every every test four and final, I, I I teach December 11 in the morning because December 12 I need to post it the grade in the west side of the Miami Dade College. Um, uh, then uh, next Tuesday, next Tuesday, let me finish. Let me finish. December 12 is my birthday. Okay, so say, happy birthday, happy birthday. What's your name, Mister? Uh, the student Flora. Ah, Flora. Flora, what is the reason that you change the nickname? Okay, okay, let me finish the idea, guys. Important, important. Focus it, pay attention. Then, next Tuesday, I will send also the final test. Remember, the final test is no mandatory. Suppose that you get, when you compute your average, you get A, you don't need to take the final. Suppose that when you compute the average, the your, your overall grade is B, and you want to improve, you take the final. So I sent next Tuesday after when, so I suppose technically, can I finish the, the review? I don't know. We are doing a slow down to explain everything clear. Maybe we spend today a little bit, Tuesday and Thursday, guess 10. Maybe yes or maybe no, depends if we finish, no. We, we have no lecture. I only waited for your test. Uh -huh. Then, uh, to say, is it under your consideration that you need to take or no the final? Don't, don't hesitate to take the final because the final only, always improve. Okay, suppose that you are one test that you are doing a mess. Can you get F, D, whatever, and you want to improve. You take the final. When I grade the final, see the, see the final is worse. See the final is a mess. Uh, it doesn't affect your score. It stay the same. So always the overall grade goes up when you take the final. See, the final is better. Oh, perfect. I replace the worst test by the grade of the final. The final is easy. The, or relatively easy is the only disadvantage is, is everything together, community at the beginning. Test one, two, three, and four. But it's multiple choice. And you can guess it, right? Is you don't cheat, you don't, don't need to show me the word. No, 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 no. You select A, B, C, D, that's it. Okay, suppose that you don't know something, you guess it. So I will say Tuesday, yeah, I collect uh, Thursday. So the last day I collect. This test I want to say today, when the lecture is over, I call it December 10th, in December 10th, I call it also the final. Because December 11th, I grade everything. I grade online, uh -huh. it's also, I change the day online test. I, I change everything of the test number four, homework, pre-test and test to December 10th. To give it a little bit more time to you, are doing well, no? Guys, I try to help, okay? If you want to pass yeah. or you want, uh -huh, uh, you want to pass or you want to yeah. get good grade, you need to help me, okay? Otherwise, no, 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 no I try, I try. I, 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 I like work good. I try to do my best. 
pero depende del estudio, ¿no? De, de, de Son estudios, I suppose, que learn a lot of, yes, yes, Andreina, eh, Jordan, Flora, a lot of, I forgot no good, good students, the name. Eh, pero a no de estudios, no, no es necesario, porque los estudios no pay attention, es inmaduridad. Bueno, ok, ok. Anyway, let's focus on the review. Ready to discuss in mathematics? No more blah, blah, blah. You are ready? You are clear? December 10 is the last day. The student that don't send me something December 10, zero. Okay? And submit online before, before no. It's December 10 at midnight. It's a due day. Okay, let's, let's move on to the review. The question number one, say, do the graph of the function f of x equal two to the minus x. It's a exponential function. Uh -huh. If you want, let's do it by hand, the graph. In the, in the test, you can see the, the elegant rectangular coordinate system. And you are doing the graph not in one scrap paper. No, 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 on the test. In the elegant rectangular coordinate system, it's provide for this idea, okay? So this is equivalent, when you see negative exponent, you can understand that this is equivalent to say two to the minus one raised to the x power. In other words, it's a one half raised to the x power. So exponential, a function, but exponential decay, so decreasing, because the base is less than one. So you try to do, uh -huh. Zero comma one, always it regardless the exponent here. Every exponential function passing through that point. Uh -huh. Suppose now, remember the classical typical point is one and negative one, one and negative one, negative one and positive one. See, a positive one is half because one half raised to the one power is obvious, okay, one half. And the point is one, one, one half, one half, one half is here. This point is the point, one comma one half. Because it says one comma the base, and the base in this case one half. Okay. Uh, a negative one is one half raised to the negative one. And you see negative exponent of reciprocal is two. Two over one, no? it's just two. It's a whole number. I don't care the one in the bottom. This is two here. This is two. And the point is this negative one comma two. Uh -huh. This three point is enough for me. However, you can plot another point. Yes, let's do it. Why not? Suppose positive two and negative two. Well, okay. Positive two is half square and one over four. One over four is the half of the half. This is the point two comma one quarter. And negative two is one half raised to the minus two. And negative exponent again reciprocal is one over two to the second power. Is one. Okay, sorry, it's Flip it, flip it, flip it, coño. Flip it, es, flip it like that, es, es reciprocal. Reciprocal is two over one, raised to the second power. Uh -huh. And this is just four, no? Four divided by one is four. It's three, four, point four. Okay, enough. We have five point, no? One, two, three, four, five point. Uh -huh. We are doing the, the, the exponential like that, wow. Like that. Remember, the important, important, extremely important. The exponential uh -huh, is decay, decreasing, and don't forget the five point or the three point. For me, it's enough three point, and the uh, horizontal asymptote. Okay, any exponential function have at a uh, y equals zero. Okay, so exactly on the x-axis. That's it. That's it. The asymptote is important, guy. See, I see, see, I ask you, uh, do the picture or do the graph of my face. And you put the eyes, mouth, uh -huh, and the hair, okay, but you forgot the nose. So say, this is not my face, okay? The asymptote is important part of the graph. It's important graph, part of the graph. That's why you put always the, gra the, the, the asymptote in dollar line. Okay, 
do you want, so everyone understand perfectly this in the test? I don't know. So I, I promise that I put one exponential function similar to this, but I don't know if the base is one negative and another positive. I want to verify both situations, but I don't know if uh, the base is two or three or is four or five or one half or one third. I don't know. I don't know. But this is the uh, procedure, no? Any question? Any question? Any question? Come on, answer me. Do you want, do you want, can I do a decimal or no? Yes or no? Yes, please. Okay, yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. Okay, let's do it that one. Why not? Uh huh. Uh huh. Launa, he said yes. Okay. Let's do it. Switch it to Desmos. Boom. Uh, here. You see. Okay. Desmos. Ah, uh, entonces Desmo, no, hay typing directly. Why? Why? Why equal? Why equal? Uh, we can use in the keyboard of the computer or laptop. Well, you can use it directly the keyboard of the Desmo, no? I like this. Uh, entonces, three exponential, exponential function you can find here. Function miscellaneous. No, 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 no here. Here we have exponential case this. At this one. But this is one exponential. EXP is when the base is E. In this case, no, in this case you write like that. Parenthesis, open parenthesis. Open parenthesis. Oh no, necessary parenthesis. You put three, three, no, it's two, no, it's two. Two, 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 two. Power, this power. And you put minus x, minus x. Boom. And you can see this uh, decreasing. And the famous, uh, super important, uh, universal, no? Point, zero, zero, one. Uh, let me plot some point. Suppose, let me press enter. Open parenthesis, 0, 0,1. Uh -huh. uh, close the parenthesis, comma. Uh, what is the other point, guys? Uh, it's 1, comma, 1 half, no? 1, comma, 1 half. Okay, super. I put a label of the identification of the point. Uh, and one more in the positive direction is comma separated by comma, uh, two comma one quarter, no? One over four. Uh huh. But wow, what the hell? Okay, I make a mistake. Uh, undo. Okay, undo. Entonces, no period, comma. It's comma, 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 one over four. One division four. Super. Okay, now the negative part. And the negative part is comma again. Uh, negative one, point two. Negative one, negative one, comma, 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 two. Super. Uh -huh. Now comma, 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 negative two. Negative two, comma four, no? Comma four. Perfect. Uh -huh. The point is okay, five point. Now, I don't forget, don't forget the asymptote. The asymptote is at y zero, y equals zero, horizontal line. Uh -huh, but remember, I don't like green color, no, 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 black color, don't like. Black color, black color, black color, and the style is dotted line, dotted line, here, dotted line. Okay, super, this is the graph. Uh -huh. Do you know, guy? You you click here. You want to share the graph? Share, click here, and export the image. Mm -hmm. 
Uh -huh. And you may be down like an image in this format. And you print or no print, you copy and paste in the document. Well, this is up to you. Any question? Any question? No? I suppose you are expert working with Desmond, no? You learn a lot of using Desmond, right? Desmond is fantastic. It's fantastic. Do you believe that we have graphical glitter free in color? Beautiful? It's unbelievable. And in the cloud. It's the most important thing. That you say, for example, you, you click here, you assign the name. It's a review for the test, maybe review. Review for the test number four. Uh, pero no, this is, this is calculus, no? It's Mac 11.5, 11.5. But, but we are talking about equation number one, no? Because I, I condense in this in one folder. This is the question one, question one. And to say you drag. This, this, and this. Oh, no, no. And this. Uh, okay, con the, uh, condensing here. And delete. No delete, you know, op on enable. Okay, and now let's do in the question two now. Question two, I press enter to open a new line. Open the new folder, question two. Question two. Question two, let's do it in a paper first. Uh, no, see the board. No, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. I am doing this one, no? I am doing Flora. The thing I try to explain is create world for the. I, I suppose yeah. you, you, uh huh. No, why? Okay, don't worry. Let me try. Now? No. Now this is a, yes, okay, super. Okay, let me erase the question one and let's move on to question two. Okay, no problem. Question two, question two. Question two is again graphic. Again graphic, let me see. Uh -huh. But this is easy because it's exponential graph f of x equal 4 to x. And the base is 4. And when the base is 4 gets greater than 1, I suppose that this exponential is increasing. Exponential growth, x, y. I plot the universal point, 0, 0,1. And remember, positive 1 and negative 1, because this is 0. And 1 is 4, because 4 to the 1 is uh, two, three, and four. At this point is a point, one comma four. In negative one, four raised to the negative one is one quarter. The one quarter is half of the half here. This point is a point, negative one comma one quarter. Okay, three points is enough. Uh -huh. And don't forget the, well, let me connect it. I know the shape of this curve can look like, like that. Uh, Look like, like that, and this in that direction approach, but I'll never touch the x axis because it's asymptotic and asymptotic look like, like that. Okay, uh, again, why is zero always? Uh, what is no equal zero? Uh, suppose that you do the graph when you have translation, suppose 4x plus one. Ah, uh, in this case, no, in this case, this. Exponential is moving up one unit, it's transformation. But no, I don't complicate your life with the transformation. Never. Any question? This elementary example. Any question? Do you want to do in Desmo or no? Why no? We have time, no? Huh? Why no? We have time. Okay, let me switch into the Desmos now.
Okay, good. Do you see this one, right? Okay, now the question two is y equal y equal exponential, but the base is four exponent x. Oh, is exponential growth, increasing function. The typical point are 0, 0,1. Mm -hmm. Another point are 1,4. What's the by comma? Uh, 1,4. Mm -hmm. uh, what about 2? What is the value for 2? Separate by comma is 2 comma what? 2 comma what? Tell me, guys, 2 comma what? Hey, what's going on? One quarter? No. 2, 2. Suppose x equal 2. Suppose x equal 2. Negative 1, 1 quarter. Yeah, you are right. But, okay, okay. But two, my question was two. What about two? Four to the second power. Hello, wow. guy. 16, very well. 16, okay. 16 is too far. That is the reason increasing too fast. Look, too fast because the base is four, no? See, the base is 10, increasing faster. Okay, now the negative value, comma. Exactly, you say negative one flora, one, one quarter. 1 over 4. Look at that. Wow, super small. Uh, uh, what about negative 2? Comma, comma. Negative 2, comma, something. It's reciprocal, no? 1 over, 1 over what? 1 over, 1 over, division, by, 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 by. What is that? Huh? Exactly, 16. There you go. And this is the point. Five point, no? We have five point. Oh, let me see. One, two, three, four. And five. Wow, too far. And five. And don't forget, don't forget what? Don't forget the the acid. The acid again is the same idea. Y equals zero. Horizontal. Uh-huh. No blue. You know black. And got it. Excellent. And the curve, I want to change the color. The curve, I want to change to. No. This is my 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 answer for the question too. Any question? Are you strong in exponential graph? Regardless, guess the base is greater than one, increasing or less than one, decreasing. Exponential growth, exponential decay. Any question? Any question? Come on, this is a moment to ask my question. Clear. Hey. Oh, well, okay, okay, okay. No question? No. Okay. I understand. You are good? Okay, okay, okay. Let's move yeah. on. No question so far. To the problem number three. The problem number three say, I want to read. The growth of the population fits the exponential function p of t equal 346 e to the 0.05 t. Uh -huh. so suppose, uh -huh. where t is the number of years, so t is the years. Years. Uh, science 1978 from 2 2011. Uh -huh. I suppose, okay, let me try to uh -huh, those are they estimate the population at 2011. Okay, I suppose let me interpretation that problem. Interpretation is this is the time in years. And this is the population. Population of the, no specification what? Population. 
So you remember the idea for the population fp of any time is equal to p null a k t. So everything is given. This is super easy problem. p null is 346. So at t equals zero, the population is 346. But at t equals zero represent 1978, I suppose, is the initial. Okay. Uh -huh. And in one determined time, the subtraction, this minus this, uh -huh, is 2011, the population increasing like that. Ooh, exponential, no? Yeah, I need to find this value. This is the idea. Okay, this is my final answer. Well, 2011 minus 1978 is 30, 30 something, no? Uh, 2011 subtraction 1978 33 years. Uh -huh, uh -huh. 34 or 33? 34. Uh -huh, 33. Okay, 33. So at the time, so the direction of this interval is 33. Uh, this represents 33 years. And during this time, the population increase, 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 you know? A basic guy, the thing you should do is plugging in 33 here. And the equation, okay, 346 exponential, 0 0.05, que by the way, 0 0.05 is k. K, remember, is the, the rate of change or rate of growth in this k parameter. Multiplication by t, and t is 33. Multiplication three three. Uh -huh, uh, now calculator, calculator. Be careful, be careful. This is the display of my calculator. Look, you put three hundred forty six multiplication. Okay, suppose that we are working with the TI thirty or whatever, uh -huh, and you press the key, que es exponential with the basis e, que es the same key. Of the LM, but when you press second first, second exponential, okay, you type it first 346, 346 time multiplication, second LM. So at this moment, I can see something like that E power parenthesis. So inside the parenthesis, I put 0 0.05 multiplication 33 three, and close the parenthesis. 0 0.05 times 33. And close the parenthesis and press enter. Bam. Yeah, get the answer. God. Let me know what is the answer. Tell me. Tell me with the calculator. Exactly. It's one, uh -huh, it's one eight. One one eight zero one point six one five zero two. At least in my calculator. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, no, but you're wrong, of course, because I suppose that they are talking about population. Population is population. I don't know if it's the bacteria or is the human being. I don't know, but it's population. No? The population round to the near whole numbers. It's a whole number. But see, you write like, leave it like that in the test. It's perfect. I understand that you are doing perfect. However, more elegant answer is one a zero two. Exactly, you say because that dg is greater than five, and you run no specification because population is expressed in in natural number, not in decimal. Not in decimal. Any question on this problem? Number three problem, easy. It's okay. Uh -huh, no complication. And the and the last time we we have more complicated problem in which you have two points in the exponential condition one, condition two, condition zero, condition one, condition two. It is more complicated because you need to find in condition one the value for the gate, but no, the value of the gate is given in this problem. This is the typical problem that you can see in the test. No, no complicated, you know, easy. The test is always easy. The test is always easy. The, the complicated is the, the homework online is the complicated. I understand very well. I understand.
But remember that you can ask me. Don't hesitate this weekend to send me the picture for the problem that you don't understand very well. I try to solve it and I send back. Any question? Number three is good or no? Yes, no, no, yes. I waited for you. Do you say yes? We keep going. Good. Let's move on to the number four. Number four is a more complicated world problem. Because talk about the investment, no? Money. Compound interest. Compound interest. Uh, entonces, suppose que you have 15,000 in investment. I suppose que this is the present value, no? Make it sense, right? It's the money that you deposited right now. An investment. Which does yield? Yield is equivalent to produce in the terminology of the finance. The greater return at t equal 10 years. Also, 10 years, the time is 10. Okay, perfect. And the time, 10 years. Okay, you deposit that money during that time. I want to find the future value, I suppose. Uh -huh. well, we have two conditions. Condition A is compounding continuously. Wow. Compounding continuously. Continuously. And the interest rate are 9.5%. And remember, no, never we work it with the percentage. We express it in decimal. And the formula never percentage. This is a super mistake. It's in decimal. You divide by 100, that's 0 0.095. Let me make sure I do OK or no. The decimal point is here. You move it two places to the left. One, two. Good. OK, we have the condition A, and we have the condition B. But the condition B is compounding summer annually. Compounding semi annually. Annually have double M. And double L annually. And interest rate is 9.2. It's close. But it's, it's different. And this is my 0 0.092. Super. Uh -huh. I need to compare what's the better option. You have, suppose you have the option to select the account A and the account B, no? To say, I want to find the return or the future value, that's the same in this idea. So the formula is different because the formula for the compound continuously is P. A to the RT. And the other is different, it's, it's discrete. Semi annual, the P, uh, one plus R over N raised to the NT. Different formula. Discrete, remember in this case, the supposition is the money increasing like that, exponential continue. In this case, no. In the case, the money increasing exponential, but discrete. Okay, let's do in this first. Does it capital A get the future value is 15,000? Multiplication, exponential, exponential E, so exponential of the function exponential that contain base E standard. Therefore, we're using the calculator, no? It's the same key that we're using in the other problem, no? But the interest rate is 0 0.095 multiplication by 10 at the time. And Yes. Okay, does so it in the display of the calculator? We have that situation 15,000 multiplication, exponential, uh -huh. exponential, remember, it's e power something 0 0.095 times 10 close the parentheses. Okay, you try to do in your own calculator, I try to do in my own calculator, and you let me know. This is no competition, guys. It's a you take your time. The problem is that you practice using the calculator. 15,000. Uh -huh. Time, multiplication. Exponential is second in the same key of the logarithm, but I press first, second. I don't know, so your calculator 
the second key is blue or the second key is yellow, depending on the calculator. This is 0 0.095 times 10. Mm -hmm. Press enter, bang, I get one answer. Wow. Okay, this is the answer. Wow. The answer is exactly is 3A7A5 uh, point. So say you round, remember you trunk it, round wow. because it's a currency, it's a money, and 60, 64, not 64 because the next DJ is a four. 64, 4, 4, so you trunk it to four. This is a return, this is a future value for the first part of the problem. Uh -huh. And we compute the future value for the second part of the problem, and you compare what is the best option. No? The best option, obviously, is to give me more money. No? Uh -huh. This is a future value is equal to 15,000. Again, parentheses, don't forget the parentheses. One plus the interest rate is 0 0.092 divided by two, because I know that semi-annually, I forgot to say that is n equal to. Uh, raised to the multiplication n and t is 20 because t is 10 and is 2 actually in 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 10 years see semi-annually we have 20 period in which this is third increasing so six months six months six months six months so one year have two period okay this is the this is the thing i tried to put in the display in the display of the calculator this is my display of the calculator you put something like that. Oy. You put something like that. Fifteen thousand. I like to put multiplication, guys. Some calculator not necessarily put the multiplication. You open the parentheses, understand that this missing sign a period of time. But just in case, I put test after one plus zero point zero nine two division by two. Close the parentheses. Power twenty. Let me try. 15,000 time, open the parentheses, one plus 0 0.092 divided by two, close the parentheses, power, sign of the power, the look like roof of the house, 20, this is point. Bang, I get the answer. Help me. Exactly, is three six a seven four point thirty one or forty, no forty because it's thirty nine a nine two. So you round, you trunk it like that. And when you compare this quantity and this quantity, it's obvious that the best option is this and produce bigger return any story any question what part you don't understand by the way guy we are recording this lecture or no let me see yes we are recording any question number two no problem i need to understand to get to move on Remember, we have time to explain in detail everything. After, I cannot help in the test. I can help in the homework, but on the test, never. Okay, don't ask me a question at the test because I I realize what is the question of the test. And the test online, I know what is the question of the test online. Okay, no problem. No, yes, no. No, yes. Answer me. No answer. Are you sleeping? Come on, guy. Okay, good. Okay. No problem. No problem. No question. Okay. 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 You are. You are. You are my customer. Okay. You say no problem. Let's move on. Forward. Okay. Let's move on to the question five. Uh, question five and question six is again graphic. Okay. 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 Let me let me explain it. There. The first question. Number one question in the test is do the graph of the one exponential. I don't know if the base of the exponential is greater than one, less than one. I don't know. 
si the exponent is positive or negative. This is my first question. My second question is the logarithmic. Do the graph of the logarithm. I don't know if in the test you see the graph of f of x equal log base 2 of x. I don't know if the base is 2, si is 1 half, si is 3, si is 5. You need to be aware to do the graph of the any logarithm uh, function. Okay? So let's do it. Like that. x, y. Remember, you plot the universal point okay, here. 1,0. Because I know this fact. Logarithm base 2 of 1 is 0. And when the x is 0, y is 0. 1, 0. Uh huh. And uh, why not? We're using the no arbitrary number, 3, 4, 5, no, no. A number get matching perfectly. Well, you can use a technically any number. But to see by hand, more clear, you apply number case base of 2. Uh, 2, 4, 8, 16, so, okay, is the logarithm base 2, for example, of 2 is 1 over 1. And you plot that point, 2, 1. This is 2, and this is 1. Okay, 2, 1. Belong to this logarithm. Uh -huh. 4, again, why not? Logarithm base 2, or 4 is 2, no? Remember the idea for the logarithm is what exponent is necessary to raise the base to in order to get the number inside the argument for the logarithm. Does it four, three, four, comma two? By the way, guys, do you see the logarithmic function increasing but increasing slow? Not like a linear increasing fast or parabola increasing faster or exponential increasing super faster. Logarithm increasing but increasing super slow. Super slow, like that. Yeah. Super slow. Uh, this is cross the base is 10. No, it's 2, it's 2. The base is 2 in this example. That don't, no, no base 10. In the test, you see base 2, base 3, base 4. No, it's no big number. Yeah. When the base is uh, no wide increasing factor. Yeah. Increasing is low. Uh huh. Okay, okay. The thing I tried to discuss in was because base 10 increases. No, 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 no. This is wrong. Okay, listen to me. It's completely different to exponential. Look, suppose to compare one logarithm okay, like that. Uh, this is base 2, for example. And logarithm of base 10 passing through this point, but it's, it's flat. Base 10. Ah, uh, uh, okay. It's completely opposite to the exponential. Exponential base two increasing fastly here. Remember this symmetric with this, but base ten increasing ah, super fast. Yeah, sorry about that. No, it's okay. It's okay. I understand very well. Is it good? Can you try to discuss in this idea? Okay. Now let's continue with the base two. It was our example. Suppose base two. Let me start for the one half. I ah, negative one. I know that the exponent, uh, uh, you raise the base 2 in order to get 1 half and negative 1. Negative, so the x value is 1 half. Uh -huh, get the half here and negative 1 is here. This point is, look, this point is the point, half comma negative 1. Likewise, logarithm of base 2 for the 1 quarter and negative 2. 1 quarter is the half of the half and negative 2. And this curve approaches, but never touch the y-axis as asymptotically. Therefore, in y-axis we have a horizontal, a vertical asymptote. Sorry, vertical, 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 like that. Boom, 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 boom. And the equation for this vertical asymptote is the vertical line x equals zero. Okay, and this is perfect. Okay, I forgot. I forgot that point. That point is the point one quarter comma negative two. Any question? Any question? But of course you want to do in this one, no? Of course, of course, of course. I practice. We have practice. We have time to practice. 
Ya estuve en Desmond. Ajá. Ajá, ajá. Ajá, Andreina. No, don't worry. Be happy. Eh, let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Okay, I switch the window share, switching to the Desmos. Okay, there you go. We are in this one, no? Uh, this, the number of that question is number five, no? Number five, yeah. Question five. Let me open one folder, okay, the name of the folder is question five. Because question three and four is, is a word problem, no? Entonces we have no graph. We can do graph if you want, pero no. No necesario. Ok, entonces, the function is, is y equal, y equal something, logaritmo base 2, I, I suppose que we can find here in functions, look at that, look at that here. We have ln, we have log, entonces I suppose que this is a standard, base e, base 10, but this is arbitrary non-standard. That is calculated fantastic. You press this, boom. And the specification of the base case two, this is a small number. Press tab here. Oh no, no, inside the parenthesis, SX. Bang. Okay, let me delete that part. Not delete, you know, put all enable. This is the graphic that we are looking for. Look at the important point is the universal point, 1,0. Uh -huh. So we have several points. Let me try to plot the point. The point R, uh, 1,0. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Okay, label, comma. Open the parentheses. The second was uh, 2,1, no? Uh -huh. 2,1, 2,1. Beautiful. Uh, next is 3,4. 4, ajá. Uh -huh. Thank you. 2,4, carajo. 2,4. Okay. Uh, 3, coma. no? No? No what? Oh, let me see. No, it's 4, comma two, because the x value is 4. A ver, a ver. Let me switch into the... 2,1. 2,1. 2,1 and 4, and 4,2. Okay, okay. Logical. Okay. Is. Okay. Do you see that one or not yet? 2,1. 2,1. Excellent. And 4,2. Do you see this one now or no? 4,2. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. We compute the mm, three point. One more or no? And the positive part. Uh, one number I select that would be good. Suppose power of two, uh, eight, no? Eight. Eight comma three. I suppose, no? Comma three. Good. Uh-huh. You can select, for example, seven, five, but seven, five, give me decimal. Give me decimal, okay? Uh -huh. Suppose curiosity, I select, I select five. Bueno, five comma have no idea. Okay, so this is the elegant number. And the, the negative answer of the logarithm is when it's less than one. So say comma was one half, no? One over two, one over two, one over two, comma, 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 negative one. Comma, 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 negative one. Uh -huh. Point five. And decimal always expresses the answer in decimal. Uh -huh. One more, uh, one quarter, no? one quarter negative two, no? Comma, one over four, comma, 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 negative two. Oof. Okay, I'm enthusiastic to say I don't see the thing I'm typing. One comma negative two, negative two. Boom. How many points we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Enough. Aha, uh -huh. now the acid x equals zero. Um, no red, black, black, and dotted. Okay, super. This is my graph. Any question? 
No? Good. Let's move on. Whiteboard again. Uh huh. Question six. I want to question six is a little bit complicated. Not complicated, but weird. Is logarithm. You have the function. Let me copy. Let me copy formal. Is f of x. Make it soon. Okay. Make it soon. Okay. F of x equal logarithm, but base one half of x. Uh -huh. And the test maybe one third, one fifth. Okay. Uh -huh. This is the by hand. Look at this two in the graph by hand. X and Y. I plot the universal point. Here. Zero co. No. Here, no. Here. This is the universe and exponential. And the logarithm is here. One comma zero. Because logarithm weighs base one half of one is zero. So this is universal. Regarding the base, I don't care this. Is one is it automatic? Okay. Uh, logarithm base one half of the one half is one, right? But when this number is exactly the same of the base, the answer is one. There's one half is here and one positive here. This is the point. The point is one half comma one. Positive one. Uh -huh. Suppose logarithm base one half of the one over four. One over four is here. But the answer is two. No, it's two. I, I, I'm not sure it's two. Let me see. Let me convert it to exponential to understand. One half square is the exponent is equal to one goal. This is is correct. One half is the base. I copy. The exponent is two. And the answer is one over four. Super. The answer is two. One goal is this, the answer is two. This is the point. This point is one or four comma two. Uh -huh. Let me try to analyze the after the the one, two, four. Suppose logarithm base one half of two. Ah, negative one. It's obvious that negative one because it's reciprocal of this. But just in case, just in case the verification. One half is the base, the exponent of negative one should be equal to two. It's perfect because it's reciprocal. Flip it, flip it. So the two is here, is one half, negative one, sorry. Entonces, the exponent, this point is the point two, comma, negative one. And what about four? Three no, because three is decimal. Okay, logarithm base, one half, uh -huh, is negative two, is negative, very well. And negative two, right? And negative two, I suppose, here. This point is the point four comma negative two. Uh -huh. And just our logarithmic function look like, like that. It's so big, it's decreasing. And the reason it's decreasing is because the base is less than one. And when this situation happens, similar to the exponential, it's decreasing. And also, we have the the vertical asset to here at the line x equals zero. Complete the picture. Okay, we have one point, two point, three point, four and five point. Enough. Professor, uh -huh. Uh -huh, please. Two points on the positive side and two points on the negative side. Is that what you're wanting? Super. Enough. Perfect. Okay, thank you. So the, the universe, two point uh, greater than one and two point less than one. Enough. So let's move on to decimals. This is the question five. I, question five. Let me open folder. Question five. Question five. Okay, question five is y equal. Y equal. Uh -huh. The same function, guy. Logarithm of the arbitrary non non standard. No, uh -huh, non standard. Get one half. One division two. Oh, 
we are in trouble, big trouble, big trouble, big trouble. Okay, let me delete this, completely delete. Let me try to do my best. Okay, is, aha, uh -huh. I remember guess it's complicated, but I, I solved the problem. How I solved the problem, let me see. Because I don't know why I do not accept directly the fraction, but I put 0.5, no, set it to, oh, okay, 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 okay. Switch it to Desmos. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I understand, guys. Now, everything okay? Okay, let me start at the beginning. Okay. I open one new folder, it's called a Q, question, question five. Okay, Rosalita. I try to find the function logarithm again, logarithm. Here, non-standard. But I try to put a fraction here, it is impossible. But I don't care, I put 0 0.5. 0 0.5, it's equivalent to one half, no? Uh, of x. Uh, I forgot y equal. Sorry, carajo. Y equal. Eh, something wrong. Uh, because I make a mistake here, I put comma. Yeah, no comma, period. There go. Okay, I put 0 0.5. I don't know why. And my. Computer, when I try to put one over two, uh, Desmo don't understand very well. Okay, and this is the famous point, universal. Uh, one comma zero. Uh -huh. Okay, I need help. What was the first point? The was first point was one half comma one. You don't remember, one half. In this case, yes, you can put fraction, but at the base of the logarithm is square. Comma one, comma one. Perfect. Look at that. Uh -huh. Another is one quarter, comma one over four. Uh -huh. Comma, comma, comma two, comma two, no? comma two, comma two. Excellent. Uh, and the number greater than one is two comma one, no? two comma negative one, two comma negative one. Two comma negative one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And also four comma negative two, no? And remember, can you help me? Four comma negative two. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Five point two before one. And two after the one. Okay, nice. Now the vertical asymptote at x equals zero. Uh huh. Black color good, but at this time I need to change to dotted line. And the story. And this is my answer. Remember, I click here, export image. Okay. Uh, I suppose that you set out here percent, well, 100 percent. I don't know. So you, ah, you select here medium, small, large. I don't know. Well, okay, 40 percent. Ah, the zoom. Well, okay, okay. This is using your imagination. Any question about algebra? Any question about algebra? Let me switch into the whiteboard. Whiteboard. White board, white board. Uh, I have in white board, right? Erase everything, my white board. Okay, ready. Question seven, question seven, question seven, question seven is half different uh, uh, partial question, no? Seven A, seven B, seven C. Okay. It's, ah, but it's easy because the only thing you should do is conversion. Conversion. Exponential uh, conversion from logarithm statement to exponential. The seven question. Let's do it. Have A, B, and C. In A we have logarithm of base two of one over thirty-two equal negative five. 
and b we have logarithm of base 3 of 1 over 243 is equal to 5 again and in the c we have logarithm of base 2 of the 1024 equal negative 10. And make sense again negative because it's a, a number less than one, no? the number inside the argument, and the base is greater than one. So there are contradictions. That's the reason that you solve the contradiction using this. But basically, the thing that they want is that you convert to exponential. So I asked by myself, what is the base? The base is two. This is small, little, teeny two. I put like a big two. The exponent is negative five. And the answer should be the number inside the argument of the parentheses. And that's it. Don't, don't do anything. Only conversion from a logarithmic statement to a point. Uh, go, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. The formula for that to convert from this logarithmic equation, that's, it is, um, it's B is not one, so it's, uh, the b um e, b to the y power equals x right uh-huh uh -huh. okay uh -huh. okay 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 you want the formula no no i just i'm just asking i just want to make sure, sure. i don't mix them. okay in, yeah. in my opinion i don't memorize uh, any formula okay. I, well, I memorize some formula of course but i try to do memorize any, any formula so the 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 reasoning is i recognize what are the base one well, of the base is two you put the big two first you recognize at what exponent you write this to the answer for the logarithm always give me exponent. This is the base. And this I call resolve. Resolve of the one hypothetical exponential. Okay? The, this number gets the resolve of the hypothetical you put inside the argument of the logarithm. Understood. Okay. okay, and do the exactly the same we are doing. I need help. Come on, using the chart, guys. Uh, number B and number C, try, 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 try. It's super easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, how we convert. It's, it, it, this is easy, but it's important. Conversion in both direction. Conversion from logarithmic statement to exponential or exponential to logarithmic is equation eight. Come on, I need help. And the B. What is the base? Three, uh -huh. three to the negative five, uh -huh. Jordan equal uh, one over 243. Uh -huh. Rosalinda is a three, three, three. The base is three, Rosalinda, yes. Uh -huh. Very well, Rosalinda, right, typing like a computer, like that. Okay. And the rest is C, C is two, no? The base is two, the exponent is negative 10, is equal one over 1024. Any question, any question, conversion, conversion. I don't know, this is hypothetical example, no? In the test you see different numbers, different situation, but it's the same idea. Okay? Let's do it one more. Let's do it in the number eight. Number eight is similar. Uh-huh. I suppose the number is the last one for today. Remember, guy, you stay some second with me after the class. When you see everything is over, because I need confirmation that you receive or not the test number four. And you can start when you want. Okay? Okay, number eight is completely opposite. I give you a B C in exponential, and you convert to lower image. This is 3 to the minus 4 equal 1 over 81. Uh, 2 to the negative 5 is equal 1 over 32. Uh -huh. And 2 to the 4, 4, 4 minus 3 is equal 1 over 64. Wow, in this, in this example, every exponent is negative. Well, this is the reason Okay, the answer is reciprocal of something because it's negative exponent. Flip it, flip it, right? Let me try to do by myself the first one. 
and you try to help me in the B and C. Okay, this is from exponential to logarithmic. And so you include immediately the word log, L-O-G. What is the base? The base is three. The base never is negative, it's illegal. The base is this number one. Well, it's obvious that the base is exponential. No? And the argument inside is the answer, result, I call result, okay, one over 81. And the answer of the logarithm is always this one. This negative four is the answer of the logarithm. The reason is clear because three raised to the negative four is one over 81. End of story. Come on, help me in number B and number C. Express a conversion from. Uh -huh. Lob two, lob two, uh -huh. lob two, lob two, base is two, I agree. Okay, inside the parenthesis, outside the parenthesis. What is the number inside the parenthesis? What is the number outside the parenthesis? Uh huh, one goes to 32 equal negative five. Super. Uh -huh. This is simply to say 81. Uh huh, 81, 81, 81. 81. You got it. No, 81 is 32, no? It's negative five. Okay. The base is three. The base is three. Uh huh, here is three. It's three because the base is three right here. But the base is two and the base here is four, no? So it says, uh huh, it says logarithm of the base four of one over 64 is equal to negative three, no? Is equal. Sorry, no, it's okay. It's equal to negative three. Are you agree or disagree with this idea? Completely clear? Okay. Bueno, entonces, I, I, I propose you stop. Stop because. Uh huh. Because Tuesday we have we we focus in the complicated part. The complicated part, remember, is the equation, exponential equation, logarithmic equation, and this normally in the in the in the test is a little bit complicated equation, no, not too easy, no straightforward. It's a little bit complicated. Okay, to say uh, stop for one moment. Uh huh. Uh, let me try to stop sharing. Uh -huh. I want to send the test four. And you start working as soon as possible. Remember, this is due December 10th. So we have one entire week no? to do that. Okay. I send. Let me know if you receive or no. If you receive and you have no question, you can leave. Professor, uh -huh. do you mind sending us also the YouTube link, please? Of course. Of Thank course. you, sir. Well, well, okay, 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 remember, um, I agree, I, I, I will do, but email me. Because when I reply, you email, because I don't know who are you. Okay? No, no, you just send us. To everyone? Uh, right after you to everyone? Send uh -huh. Remember, we have the video in Blackboard of the Miami Day and also on YouTube. Yeah, okay. that's the YouTube I'm asking for. Oh, okay, Thanks. perfect, perfect, perfect. Hey, please email me now. Yeah, I reply with this information. Correct? Thank you. Thank okay, you. pleasure. Bueno, the student is, you got it or no, or no yet? I see, uh-huh. Noel is gone. Yasmin, Olga, no, no yet. Sir, you, you sent the wrong test, I think. Oh, no problem. So, so you don't receive. Is, hey, this is, you sent a review for test four, and I think it's for trigonometry or. or uh, oh, or, maybe or, I'm making a mistake. Yeah, wow. yeah, this is for this is for your calculus. Really? Yeah, it is because trust me, I'm looking at Greek right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me try to find an email again. Yes, sir. It's eleven forty. Ah, no, no, this is wrong. Forget about this. <laughs> I, I, yes. I, Unbelievable. Yeah, I was literally like, Don't oh worry, you can leave now. I sing, I sing after that. I, I was like, oh my God, I didn't, I don't understand no, no, anything. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 11.40, next no, level. No, no, no.
Okay, let me try, let me try, let me try. Ahora sí lo recibí. Muy bien.